They say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Have you ever taken a trip through the middle of the night to get to the coast just so you can see the sun rise over the water? Well, to do so while living in College Station means you get the wonderful privilege of going to Galveston. As a native Houstonian and a member of a fight in Texas Aggie family, I've spent more than enough time in these places growing up to realize that none of them are really close to being ideal vacation spots, but it's funny how on this trip suddenly everything becomes worth experiencing. It's feeling the emptiness of the world as you cruise down I Highway 6. You see, it's funny, during the daytime, I usually want this part of the drive to not exist, but right now I just want to bathe in the darkness and the sound of the postal service coming from my car stereo. Passing through West Houston on I-10, feeling the stillness of the city. You see, I can't seem to call this place home like I used to anymore, but right now my mind is being dragged back into the memories of these places and I realize I would never desire to lose any of them. Watching that big bright star illuminate everything around us as the waves come crashing down, you see, if you look at the sky long enough, it's, it's, it's as if it's been turned into a canvas which is being painted on with light colors and clouds. But if you keep on looking longer, it's been turned into a new painting, and then another new one, and then another new one, and then another new one, and I think I figured out why. It's not because the creator doesn't like the original, it's just that he knows we have a tendency to lose interest, and he just wants us to see something beautiful. And that's what's so crazy about this moment right now, y'all, is it feels like I have this filter over my eyes that makes everything worth looking at. Like everything is beautiful. If you leave the beach in the morning, you get to Houston in time for everyone to start their days, which unfortunately means it's Houston rush hour. But even then, it still feels like I have this filter over my eyes. But what if instead this isn't a filter at all? What if this is the way the world was meant to be seen? I know everyone in these cars next to me got out of bed and started their days, but I wonder how many of them opened their eyes and woke up. They say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but what if instead everything is beautiful and you just have to decide that it's worth calling you that? Decide that it's really worth your time. That's that's why my friend James Thompson can take a busted tire from the side of the road, put it on a canvas, and call it art because he knows that life is way too beautiful to be unamazed with the world around us. He wants to see beauty in everything so badly, but if we're going to do that, we're going to see some things that are hard to look at. But I can now confidently say that I can see the beauty in a crown of thorns and some hammer and nails mutilating an innocent man. And even when I look in the mirror and I see a failure of a man and I see everything I've ever done wrong or screwed up, I see that those iniquities have been covered with grace upon grace upon grace upon grace and my friends my loves I can look at y'all now and say that y'all are beautiful before I would have looked at y'all and thrown y'all away because I would have rather stayed with my failures but my god my god my god you're beautiful <laughs>